Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of Ask Tatiana. Today we need to change our sofa against very comfortable hard chair because we will talk about warm-up exercises uh, and um, I wanted to make once again three questions in episode but uh, this first question about warm-up uh, took so much time and it was really so long that I thought will make a known episode only with this warm-up part. So you will see today the first part of warm-up exercise. Warm-up is really very important for everybody who makes music or play, play instrument. And many people unfortunately don't really recognize it, but I believe that uh, playing instrument uh, we can very good compare with doing sport. And of course, if you play your instrument professional, it's some kind of a professional sport that you are doing. So um, you will never see any professional sportsman who starts to do his program without warming up and without doing any stretchings and cool down. So all these things are really very important to keep our hands and uh, fingers healthy and of course to be able to play long. So, um, I would like to show you uh, my personal warm-up part and um, maybe you will find some useful exercises for you. Before each practicing routine, I start always with warm-up exercises. It depends how many time I have at the day uh, to play the guitar. If I have enough time, then I spend about 30 minutes to warm me up. If I have less time, then I should be ready in 15 or 20 minutes with my warm-up exercises. I start first with a very, very, very easy exercise just to get the contact to the strings and to let my fingers um, get used to motion in a very soft and very simple way. I start in the ninth position on the first E string with the first finger. Then I go to the second string with the second finger, third finger on the second string, and fourth finger on the second string. So one, two, three, four. In the right hand I use for this combination the A finger on the E string, then I finger on the B, M finger on the B and I finger again on the B string. The goal of this exercise is to keep all fingers in the left hand on the fret and don't take them away after they did their job. So just let them stay and after that we will move one fret down. So I start very slowly. Now move and continue. After I reached the first fret, I move back. I change first and second finger and put now the second finger on the E string and fourth finger on the B string. So the combination will look like two, one, three, four. In the right hand you have the same fingering. Ready again. 
again I change now second and third fingers and now I start with the third three one two four the same rule all fingers stay on the strings with the fourth finger. Four, one, two, three, and move again. I always start with this exercise because it's not so difficult, but it helps um, my fingers to, to get used again to the strings and to to warm up them in a very smooth way, what's actually very necessary when you start. So after I'm ready with this exercise, I make it a little bit more difficult. I stay on the same two strings, on the E and on the B. Now I will have a little bit different combination. I start with the same four finger, with the first finger on the E, then comes second finger on the B, then comes third finger on the E again and fourth finger on the B. So you will always have on the E string couple of first and third finger and on the B string second and fourth. So we start very slowly. One, two, three, the same rule as in the first exercise, you need to keep all fingers on the strings. Don't take them away like that. It's not the goal of the exercise. So, we'll do it slowly. And move now. For the right hand I use now a little bit different combination. You can take a look what which one suits better to me uh, to you, but um, I do it. I start with the A finger, then comes I finger, M finger and I finger. More or less similar as uh, the first exercise, but on a little bit different strings. So after I am ready and I went back to the ninth position, I changed the combination once again and now I will play one, two, four and at the end three. Very important when you do this combination, take care of your first finger, it should stay on the string and don't allow the small finger to go away. So one, two, four, keep it and three at the end. keep the fourth finger on the string because after that we need to play the second one so we need to take it away. And the last one. One, four, three and two. Usually I need for these two exercises um, 
about five minutes to go through all the combinations and after that you made just first step to to, to, to warm your fingers up. The next exercise is um, first very very useful to practice uh, all your slurs to hammer on and uh, pull offs and also it's very very good warm up exercise for your left hand. If you do it really good and uh, with a lot of patience, then uh, you will have at the end very warm left hand. So I start in the fifth position now on the high E string and I take first one couple, first and second finger and I will do with them the hammer runs. Looks like. Then I go to the next string, next one. When you play it, you need to take care that your two notes are as close about the volume as possible. So it shouldn't be, no, it's too, too, too less. So try really to hammer on really good. In the right hand, I take a finger on the E, M finger on the B, I finger on the G, and then you have thump, thump, thump. So we try to do it complete. If you are quite new, uh, in the playing guitar. Take care that uh, when you play these hammer-ons that it um, doesn't sound like No, they should be absolutely similar and um, actually same from the length. Do it better slowly but with a lot of care about the sound. So I do it actually two times uh, because after one time I don't notice anything. So I need more. When you just start to play guitar, probably after one time you will be ready. So um, you can suit it to, to you and uh, to what, what you need. After I'm ready with this couple, I take another one and do the same, two and three. because I didn't want to take too much time to show it but um, as a recommendation do it slowly first with big control of the sound and each motion and only if you are sure that you do it right then you can raise your tempo. So when we are ready with hammer-ons we start with pull-offs. We will start with the same couple with the second and first finger and you will hit the first note with the right hand and then pull off the string with the left hand, with the second finger, like hit the string and now pull off. We do it over all strings. to another couple three and two now your third finger will pull off and the second will hold the string
probably the most difficult couple, fourth and third finger. Be really very patient with them. If it is in the beginning very, very hard for you to pull off the string with the fourth finger, you can make a little help to put the first finger on the string. It will give you uh, the feeling of, um, of being more sure and more stable. Um, and try to do then pull-offs. And when you feel better with it, then take away the first and do it only with the third and fourth finger. So your third finger need to be really... Um, really sure on the string and uh, to, to have enough weight to hold it. Of course we have another couples, fourth and first finger, third and first, and fourth and second. After you're ready with it, um, you can combine them and to play Thriller. So we start with the same couple, first and second finger, and we will do very, very, very long thriller. I do it my version, usually I count it one and two and three and four. You can do it shorter, you can do it longer, as you want. The idea is you hit the first note, then you make hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off and you stop with your first note, with the first finger. So slowly once again, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off. Now faster. Then I go to the sixth string, just not to be bored of the same combination. And do the same. Second string. One and two and three and four. Fifth string. slowly with the full control over your motions and over how much um, how much power you use for it and how it sounds. Um, after you have it you can do it a little bit faster. And so on. So the same cables, two and second. and fourth it takes more power more force from you when you make this thrillers um, as when you just make hammer on single hammer on uh, or single pull off so take your time if you feel tired in between just shake your left hand a little bit try to relax it don't don't make it until you feel any pain, don't do it. So probably stretch a little bit your, your muscles you know, to, to make them uh, more flexible again. You know? And after a short pause, you can continue again with it. It's very good. This exercise is really very good because quite in each piece you will need hammer-ons and pull-offs and thrillers, especially when you play Bach, they will have enough of them, and but also Tariga and many, many other pieces. Um, and um, it also makes your hands stronger in general and it warm up perfectly and um, you can develop um, a lot independence of each finger and the force of each finger and you will need it not only by uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs but also in everything what you are doing. Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of Ask Tatiana. 
today you will see um, the second part of warm-up exercises and today um, I will show you the exercises for the right hand and we'll talk also about some great books what I would like to recommend you. <laughs> 